So I've got Chris in my guard and I grab his shoulder and I've locked it to me and you know, here we are. I can't tap him. He's too strong, I'm too weak, he's too flexible, I don't get it right, he's a freak, I don't know, okay? But here we are. So the reason that Chris is in danger here is because I have got a dominant angle on him. See how, if we were boxing right now, like I'm in a really good position. So what people will try to do, because Chris knows that if I get his, his arm up onto my shoulder, I'll finish him. So he'll often wrap his arm around my head and now he'll try to get his nose back in front of my nose, here, okay? So now I don't have a dominant angle, I can't attack his shoulder, more or less he's out of danger. So as I bring him down here, if he grabs around my head and now goes nose to nose on me, I'm now gonna use my left forearm to lift his chin and then my left leg helps me complete my job. At which point I can get to mount and from here guys, if you're advanced, I would be going for this cutting arm lock right there. If you're not, don't worry about it. Just get to mount, okay? So let's have a look at that one again. So I've got Chris here, and I've brought his shoulder down, and uh, I can't get him. He's grabbed me around the head, and he's moving back in front. My left forearm's gonna lift his jaw. I'm gonna go with him. And then as his head's offline, his legs will get light, and my left leg can lift him over until I get all the way up to mount, and now I can start attacking this arm. Or of course, I can just be here and woo, you know, happy, I got to mount, right? So this is a really, really, really good technique because for this technique to work, the other one has to totally fail. And I mean, anyone in life can do well when everything's going your way, but when things go the opposite of your way, if you can learn to turn that into success, I mean, that's the secret right there, right? So we're here, I bring him down, and he grabs around my head, it's the correct response. He brings his nose in front of my nose, it's the correct response. So my elbow lifts his head, and you'll feel that once his head gets far enough away, his legs will be light. And I can lift him over, get to mount, and if you're an advanced guy, attack for that arm, okay? Obviously you can armbar, kimura, americana, you can do a lot of things, but uh, I really like going for this one because for instance, if he gets out of this attack, like just move your arm and get out somehow, he's gonna walk into other attacks, okay? So he's gonna walk into other attacks, whereas if I go for one of my other attacks, if it screws up, I've lost everything, okay? So let's have a look at this one one more time. This is simply a butterfly sweep, okay? And I'm just gonna show you an advanced version for like blue belts or white belts that have been here for a while and up, okay? So, I've got Chris here, one last time. I hold him down to me, but he grabs my head, he gets in front of me, so I'm just gonna lift him across, and I'm gonna try to finish here, okay? So now, what happens though, if I get Chris, and I'm here, and I can't finish him, but he wants to just stay down there? Well now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push his head down and I'm going to flip him over and come up to a side control, keeping my underhook. Okay, so let's have a look at this one again. This is simply what, say, like Carlos Machado would call a hook flip because it's like I'm flipping a pancake, right? I'm not rolling it, I'm going to flip it. So I'm here. I grab the guy and I put his head on the ground. He's like, I can't get him. So now I can use my hand or if you feel so inclined, like I, I stole this trick from Carlos Machado, use your elbow on their head and then flip him over. But as he flips over, I can't stay here. He'll end up on top. So as he flips over, I get over as well. So I'm in a totally dominant side control position. So if we do one now speed for that, just for colored belts tonight, I'm here. 
okay? Here. In this case tonight, like I landed almost in a half guard. But I have my underhook, I have a cross face, I'll be out of that and take an extra three points just for my troubles. Okay? So let's practice that one. At the very least, you have to do that. And hook sweep that way. But in real life, as you know, like Chris will testify too, we did a lot of private lessons together when we were working on his hook sweep for competition. And if you can get a clamp and you can sweep both ways, you can sweep anyone. It's just a matter of time. Okay? So I've shown you ways that you can sweep both ways. Sweep that way and sweep that way. Okay? Beginners, you'll be sweeping to your right. Advanced guys, you'll be sweeping to your right and to your left. You can push the head or you can swallow the head. Totally up to you. Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching the video guys. For more videos, click here to subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom guys, I'll see you next time.